Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at this image called Raspbian X made by my friend Pi's Lab. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I want to say that Pi's Lab actually put a lot of hard work into getting this image working. And the whole premise around this is to have a nice intuitive distro for Box86 to live on. So be sure to check out his channel. And this is a pre-release just so I could test it around and show you guys, but he will be releasing the full image on his channel. So be sure to subscribe to his channel and he'll probably have more instructions on how to get everything working. Now, if you remember a couple of months ago, I reviewed the software called Box86. Now, Box86 is a software that allows Linux 86 binaries to run on ARM. And it's not like a whole emulation or anything. It's like a wrapper. So it's a really cool software that's been going around. And I do know the developer of that guy. I also ended up sending him a bunch of boards just so he has more boards to play around with and he could bring more support to other devices because he was using like a really old ARM device and I, I couldn't believe where he was at already. So a couple of months ago, there was no way of getting Steam to run on Box86. And today is a different story because it officially runs on Raspberry Pi now and along with a lot of other stuff that Pi's Lab put into this image. So again, be sure to bring your love over to his channel. Um, he's going to have a release soon, so stick around for it. Subscribe to his channel and check it out. Now, let's take a look at this image. So to begin, you're going to notice that it looks like a Windows 10 environment. It actually is really pretty the way he set it up. He's got everything all dialed down to make it look like Windows, including the Internet Explorer. Um, he does have a couple of things on the desktop right now. So it's got obviously, like I said, the Internet Explorer, the home folder, Chromium Media Edition. Now the Media Edition allows you to actually run Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, and all those um, DRM enabled uh, content. So you're gonna be able to use that. You're also gonna notice Steam, Raspberry Pi, and also a README. So the README on his desktop is actually just everything about this image. Um, what he did, it's not overclocked, what the passwords are, how to get certain things working, more about the Box86 software and RetroPie and his final words and stuff like that. Um, I would definitely give that a read when you go look into this image, but let's check out Steam. Now, I already preloaded Steam. It, it does load really quick, but you know, with the login and stuff, I didn't, I just preloaded it. So in here, you could see that I'm in the small mode. Um, that means it's actually from view. You can actually go into large mode, but the browser does not work in the large mode. So you're going to have to go into the small mode just to get games to work. So if you want to install a game, you would right click and install a game like that. Now, what I did do was install a Linux specific game, which is fast and light. And I am so surprised that this works and it actually runs and loads pretty quick, like almost like a normal desktop. Uh, obviously the loading is a little bit slow, but the program popped right open and it was, it just works. And I'm pretty impressed at that. And to get to this stage, and it was only a few months time, like I said, I'm, I'm still impressed at this whole thing. Now, I'm not gonna be playing this game. I'm just gonna show you that it does work. The sound does work. I can move the window around, but yeah, it, it does work. It does play in everything, but I did want to move on and see other stuff that he installed. Now, if you go into the start menu, uh, you could also take a look at um, accessories, development that he put in. Uh, those are the standard stuff. He's also got LibreOffice in here, but if you take a look at games, he pre-installed a bunch of stuff. ZXNES, Steam, RetroPie, I was saying. DOSBox and a few games. And I thought this game was pretty interesting. The, another Metroid remake. This was like literally another Metroid remake. It looks really good, especially in full screen. I'm gonna see if I could just pop in and then get out of this. There you go. Sound works. Everything loads pretty quick. I've never heard of this game until I saw it on this image. I might even wanna just play it. But yeah, you could continue game. And it looks just like Metroid. I don't even know if I should keep the sound in here, but yeah. Let's run around. Jump. Jump. Yeah, okay. That's it. He's also got Counter-Strike 2D, which is another game I've never played before, but it looks... It's like a top view version of Counter-Strike. Uh, you guys could check it out when you guys get the image, but yeah, he's got a bunch of stuff in here. And everything works 
fairly smoothly. Um, now, keep in mind that this is an experimental build. This is a pre-release. Box 86 is still in development, heavy development. So there's games that might work and might not work. So your mileage may vary. So I would definitely give it a try. And if it doesn't, submit a bug because he's looking into it. He's got a GitHub and everything. He's looking into all the stuff that's going on and he's repairing them as they go along. That's how this development got so far. Box86 is also not just for games. You could actually install TeamSpeak on there or some software that you need that is a Linux binary and meant for x86, but you want to run on ARM. Give it a try. Now also, I can't stress this enough, give PyLabs huge thank you because he made this image and he's continuing support on this. He's actually made a few other images of like uh, Raspbian 95, like has a full Windows 95 emulator and everything in there. Check out a few of his projects. It's it's really cool where he's at right now with all the development. Again, that's it for me. I really like this little thing. I played around with it here and there. It is Raspbian. Um, it does Steam does work. I think it's really impressive. I will be waiting for the full release just like you guys because there might be some bugs that are repaired. Another thing he did mention was check out some GOG games because those work really good. There are some mono games that work. Um, I've, you've seen me install some mono games before and that's using Box86, which is Bastion. And I'll leave a link here. But yeah, check it out. Anyway, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.